In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to deal with oversized artwork. That's artwork that's bigger than what we can actually print out onto, and that's when we're sending it to the RIP through the Artwork Manager. Now I'll just go to page 3 to show you an example I've got here. In this example here, I've got a rather large sign here that we want to print out onto a printer. And you can see here it's 96 inches or around about 2.5 metres wide by 72 inches high or around about 1.8 metres um, high. So this is a rather large job that simply doesn't fit onto our printer which only prints to um, 53 inches wide or around 1.3 metres. So the first thing I need to do is send this artwork to our artwork manager on the way to the RIP manager. So we click on this button up here, RIP, processes the job for us. And we can see here that our printer, which is an SC540, is capable of printing out 53 inches. Uh, and this job here, as we can see, is 96 inches wide by 72 inches high. It simply cannot fit onto 53 inches. So to deal with this issue, we go to the size cropping tab here, and we can check on this tile to media checkbox. And when we do that, we'll see this tab appears, tile to media. And the tile to media tools here, we've got the tile size, and we can set our width and height and overlap. So we can actually tile this job. In other words, split it into sections that we then send off to our um, large format printer to print out. Uh, and then we can actually modify how our tiles are laid out. So the first thing is we'll come up to this button here and we'll click Tile Horizontally. And that applies a tile here to the width of our printer, as you can see, 53 inches. And we'll click one here uh, vertically and it does the same thing. So we're setting these tiles by default to 53 inch by 53 inch. Now we can reset all this by clicking these reset buttons, etc. Okay, so that's how we've laid that out. Now we'll look at this and think, well, it's probably easier on the job itself just to split this into quarters. We've got four tiles here, but you know, having little strips like this and bits and pieces isn't really that convenient for the guys on the job. So what we'll do is we'll just click on this equal button here, which will make it an equal tile width, as you can see, 48 inches, and we'll click equal here, which is 36 inches in this direction. So uh, 48 and 48 is our 96, and 36 and 36 is our 72 inches. And we've got four even tiles. So that's a very easy way to lay out our um, tiles to break this job apart. We can also click on this thing here, uh, this checkbox here, number each tile, and we can see one, two, three, four. And if I click on Save Tile Map, that'll actually save a copy of this to the clipboard. So I'll just bring up uh, Paint, and I'll just show you how that works, just so you can see. I can paste that in, and if I just zoom out a little bit, you can see that we've created this um, tile map here, which we can save off and refer to in the workshop. So we can see what, uh, how to lay this out when we actually go after we've ripped it and printed it. So that's how that part of it works. And basically, once we're happy with our layout, we can now start thinking about, do we want to overlap any of these sections? Because at the moment, if you printed these out, they would just butt up perfectly. You'd have to slice them off, and they would just butt up perfectly. But often, it's much better to actually apply an overlap. And we can just come in here to tile overlap. If I press say, this up arrow, I can set it to half an inch here. And this is an overlap in each direction. So these pieces will perfectly overlap each other, half an inch in each direction. And that's a great way of making sure that when you put this up on site, that if it's going over an uneven substrate or it's, you know, um, gonna, it, it's subject to shrinkage or any of these sorts of things, you can easily accommodate that by setting your tile overlap. And of course, you can set that to anything you like. You can position these tiles anywhere you want, depending on the job at hand. And this will entirely depend on the artwork you're working with um, and the, the size of the, the, the job you're working with, etc., and how large your printer is. But these are how we set these settings in here. And once we're happy with these settings, we can just click Accept. And we can see this image, uh, this job is uh, loaded into the RIP, and it's four equal pieces, as you can see here. So we've got uh, tile 1 of 4, 2 of 4, 3 of 4, and 4 of 4. We can go to our job options here, and we can see a, a larger preview of this here. And you can see how easily this has worked here. And that's now ready to send. We can now RIP this, um, or, or do whatever. We can obviously adjust things and add weed boxes and all sorts of things, or crop marks, etc. Um, we can add job information and do all these sorts of things. But that's how we create individual tiles using the Artwork Manager that we then send into the RIP Manager. And that's the end of this lesson.